Hello, this is Ashley, and in this Blackboard Basics tutorial, we're going to talk about how to add a video. If you are using the district's uh, computer that has been issued to you, the easiest method to create a video is to go to um, use a program called Photo Booth. So you go to what I like to call the Finder Face in the bottom corner first to record your video. Click on it. You click on Applications. I'm already here, but over here in the uh, the left pane over here, you click on applications and you click on photo booth. Once it is open, you would switch over here to video. And then once you click there, you click record. It usually gives you some type of countdown. After you have the countdown, then from there, you do your recording. When you're finished, whatever message you want to say, you hit stop. Once you stop, the video drops down. You can click back on the video so that you can watch it, replay it to see how it went. And once you are satisfied with your video, all you need to do is drag and drop. So what that means is I'm going to actually close some of these windows since they are in the way. I'm going to slide this one over just a little bit so we can see my desktop over here. So. All you need to do, I'm gonna open up, open this back up again. I take the video, I grab it, I drop it somewhere onto my desktop that's free and open space. Just drop the video, that's all you need to do. Then from there, you go back to your Blackboard page. And once on Blackboard, you decide what page you want the video content to live. For now, I'm gonna place it on my Science tab. So I click on Science. It opens up. I'm going to build content here. I can add it in two different ways. One way is to go straight to the video link that will link you directly to the video with no other text. So if I click video, I want to name it. I'm going to name it test two. And then I can decide do I want it to auto start? Do I want it to loop? And want to track the views and I hit submit and it says oh a file must be attached <laughs> so I need to go back I need to make sure my file is attached so I'm going to browse my computer I'm going to go to my desktop and I'm going to find the video I just added it usually will say movie on the date and then dot and movie so we are going to click on the video we're going to open Now it is attached and we hit submit. So now my video is right here where it says test two. So I have chosen to have my tabs show up as icons only. I could switch it to make it where, you know, depending on the content I have, it's icons and text where it would be in a fashion where it would drop down in this way. So I'm going to go back because I actually prefer to just be the tab, just the, I'm sorry, not the tab, just be the icon. So show icons only. I'm going to click back on the video I just added. And there it is. So we're good to go. And that's the first way. The second way I'm going to go back. I'm just going to click on the tab to go back or you can hit the back arrow, get you there the same way. Another way is to create an item. And the reason why you would create an item, I'm going to call it test three, is if you wanted to have some type of other content on the page, whether it's some type of text or some type of directions or whatever it would be, and then you would want to insert your video. So I have my text above I go down a couple lines and then I hit this little tool feature here that looks like a little, you know, has a little play button on top of it. I click on it and that's going to be to add the video. So the best way to do it again is to browse your computer for the video that you just dropped in. It says browse my computer. Well, I'm going to choose file instead of browse computer. So we'll kind of point and click together. So browse file didn't work. You click on choose instead. Now I'm going to go back to the same video that I just dropped to my desktop. There it is. 
I don't think it's going to make me wait for a preview. So I'm going to go ahead and hit insert. Oh, I do have to wait for it to, to load. So you have to wait, be patient for a couple moments. Because it does say loading, so. Once the video has loaded, you then go ahead and you click insert. Here, you are not able to actually see the video in the same way unless you go ahead and you submit the page. So I put the, the video in, I scroll down and I click submit. I'm gonna go back and see if the video is now there, and it is, so it has my text and the video. So those are the steps to add a video to your Blackboard page. If you have any questions, you can reach out to me at craiga at lmsd.org. That is C-R-A-I-G-A at lmsd.org.